something very interesting today. It is a big, heavy, old-fashioned retro radiation detector. Now, this isn't quite a Geiger counter. What this does is it's designed so you wear it around your neck. And um, this is the uh, radiation detection sort of multiplier. And when the radioactive particles become obviously too dense, I'm not sure exact science behind radiation, but you know what I mean, uh, set your reckons or hour or whatever you want to call it, get too high. Uh, it will then start sounding an alarm on the device to warn you you're being dangerously irradiated and get the hell out of there. Um, now this is an old Polish unit from the Cold War and I'm going to put the pops and batteries in it because interestingly enough despite being such an old retro piece it takes D batteries apparently or LR20s as they're called internationally or MN1300s but I've got a pack of Duracells I've just bought and we'll try this thing out. Batteries go in just here behind these. So let's test it. Well here we go, here it is, the RS70 uh, radiation unit detector. I've got the batteries in and it should be all ready to go. So let's have a look at what it does. So as you can see there, there it says RS70 produced in 1981 but made a bake light despite plastic being available which adds to the charm of it now this is the switch that should activate the buzzer on and off and the red light detects radiation the first setting on there which is the K will be the test setting where it assume it, you know you test the functions of it to make sure it would actually work if there's radioactive particles then these are the multipliers so 0, 0.5 I guess is the lowest and 30 would be the highest. So on 0, 05 it would start sounding the alarm earlier than if it was on 30. But anyway, let's zoom out a bit and let's turn it on and see what happens. Alright, so we've got our red light flashing. It doesn't appear red on the camera lens as far as I can tell, but that's definitely red with me looking at it with a naked eye. And this should be the buzzer flip switch. Yeah, so that toggles between a light and a buzzer. So you definitely hear that if you're being irradiated. Let's put that back on the light for now. Okay, so this is the lowest detection of radiation. And uh, yeah, that's not currently doing anything. And obviously these being higher are even less likely to set anything off. But this being a um, obviously radiation detector, it's designed as an alarm system so it won't be set off by very low levels of naturally occurring radiation. This is obviously designed if you're going into a very dangerous scenario that you get an alarm sound when you're getting to the point where you could get fatal or you know disabling radiation poisoning. So um, it's an interesting thing got on eBay for about 30 quid. I mean it's quite charming this cause it's massively heavy this is probably about three to five kilograms you know all this stuff today is just little plastic badges but this is some old you know Soviet massive clunky and it's Polish but communist Poland sort of Soviet Union territory massive clunky bake light radiation detector but that certainly adds to the charm of it. Right here we go so this is how it would actually be worn the unit would be on your chest like this with the strap around your neck and then you'd have it set to whichever setting you wanted. So obviously you'd have it test its working with the red light and the buzzer. Then you'd switch it to whatever radiation setting you wanted. Then when you were exposed to enough for it to set the device off, you'd hear your buzzer or see your light and you'd be warned. Obviously, I don't know how well you can obviously tell in the video, but this is a really impractical thing to wear. I mean, this weighs the same amount really as having a gas mask filter and hose in a gas mask satchel sort of hanging off of your neck. So, sort of, you know, that with NBC gear would be completely over the top. Um, so you can see obviously why the devices have been modernised into much smaller plastic badge type things, but this has a lot more charm to it anyway. You know, being a massive, clunky, oversized radiation detector. And of course, all in Polish and made a bake light. But there we go. Um, 
old cold or radiation detector. Good fun.